I'm confused. What am I doing here? Hello everyone! Due to insistent public demand by three people on TikTok, here I am, the mommy robes. I'm confused making my very first YouTube video. For those who don't know me, I am the mommy robes on instagram and on tiktok of course on instagram all my artihan is there and on tiktok i share all my confused moments from confusing aussie slangs to struggles adjustments tips and everything as a filipino migrant in australia i do appreciate everyone who follows me on tiktok i am glad that i'm able to relate to you and to share to you my struggles and my adjustments in australia and i am very very thankful for all the comments and the support that you have been giving me and a lot of you guys are asking na mag-YouTube na ako. So, ito na nga. Mag-YouTube na. There are many questions on my TikTok like, paano ako nag-move sa Australia? What to expect? How to adjust? Any tips? And there was one comment that I wanted to do first kasi hindi siya kasha sa TikTok. Mga one minute hindi. Ang dal-dal ko eh. The comment is, what are the essential things to pack when you're moving to Australia? So, medyo madami to, no? And I apologize, dadal-dal lang ako sa loob, sa in front, sa in front, in front of the screen, and I, eh, mahala na kayo kung manonood kayo, pero sana manonood kayo, mag-like na rin kayo at mag-subscribe. So, I have compiled essential things that you need to bring to Australia. There are many important things, but for me, this is the most important. So, syempre, when you're moving to Australia, you'll be bringing a lot of gadgets with you. Most importantly, your cell phone, your camera, and a lot more things. And ang plug dito sa Australia, or ang PowerPoint, if you saw my TikTok, this is um the kind of PowerPoint in Australia. May switch din. Sa Pilipinas ay ganito. Ganiyan. So, you need to bring a universal adapter para pagdating nyo, masaksak nyo na agad yung mga gadgets nyo. I don't know where to buy this. <laughs> Obviously, yung asawa kong si Pakundo ang bumili. But this is very, very essential. This is handy para kung umuwi man kayo or bumili kayo ng appliance sa Pilipinas, magamit nyo dito sa Australia. Next, bring the basic medicines that you drink or take in the Philippines. To Australia. Met some Filipinos na hiyang lang sa brands natin sa Pilipinas. For example, by Jessic, Alaxan, Becogen, Yusef, and so on and so forth. And the popular brands here is yung Panadol and yung Nurofen. And I believe this is by Jessic and Alaxan. I've met some na talagang hinahanap-hanap ng katawan nila ang by Jessic. Ingat! Maigi na rin safe tayo kasi syempre we're new here. Eh, hirapan talaga akong hanapin yung mga counterpart ng mga gamot na nakasanayan natin sa Pilipinas. For example, yung ni Yosep or yung Decolgen. Codral or Sudafed siya dito. At eventually ngayon, sanay na tayo. Next, skincare. Skincare is so important. So kung meron kayong mga favorite brands na ginagamit sa Pilipinas and sa Pilipinas lang siya nahahanap, please bring them over because it is so hard to find skincare products from the Philippines in Australia. You don't know yet kung nasa ng Filipino store sa suburb na pupuntahan nyo and minsan meron, minsan wala. So, mahirap maghanap. Although meron ng mga online stores na nagka-cater ng um, skincare brands na Filipino made, um, minsan talaga mahirap din hanapin yung nakasanayan natin. So, for example, ako, I was using Pond. Pond's Age Miracle, yung ginagamit ko, tsaka yung pink. For many, many years, I've been a Pond's girl. Pinangarap ko maging, ano, Claudine Barreto. Char! Anyway, so, I didn't know na wala pa lang Pond's dito sa Australia. The only Pond's that they're selling is the cold cream and all the other things, they don't have it here. I had to swap um, the skincare that I used to um, different skincare products that I can find in Australia. I started with drugstore products. So, I shifted to Simple. Meron yan dito. Garnier, L'Oreal. Ano pa ba? 
Biore, meron din dito. Until I, syempre, nagkatrabaho na tayo, nag-upgrade na tayo ng konti at na-afford na natin yung mga medyo may kamahalang skincare. Skincare products can be bought in Chemist Warehouse, Priceline Pharmacy for drugstore products, and the, all the other chemists or drugstore or pharmacy, that's the Aussie slang. Mid to high-end brands can be bought in Sephora, Mecca, Meyer, David Jones. Tama ba? Number four, personal care products. So, on top of skincare, syempre, we do have yung mga soap, lotion, body wash, or feminine wash. Sad to say, some brands in the Philippines are also not found in Australia. For example, Safeguard, PH Care, Lactacid, Cream Silk. Yan, di ko yan mahanap dito. Although, makakuha mo siya sa Filipino store. But as I've said earlier, we're not sure kung nasa ng mga Filipino store. So, ikikwento ko na rin no, kung bakit very important ang mga personal hygiene products na dalhin kasi um, nag-adjust talaga yung balat ko. Iba yata yung tubig, iba yung hangin, iba yung iba yung, iba yung environment natin. Pilipinas, I am a safeguard user. Na I moved here, walang safeguard pero uso ang body wash. Oh my god, sa anak ko to. Hindi ko kasi oh my god, body wash, 'di ba? Pang mayaman. So pagdating ko dito, bigla akong yumaman. Body wash na yung ginagamit ko. Chat. Ano naman, bili ako noon, gamit-gamit. Tapos all of a sudden, nagkakaroon ako ng mga laking pimples sa mga pit, sa armpit, sa singit. To the point na minsan din ako makalakad. So, nagkaroon ako ng reaction. Like, I, I went to the GP. GP yung mga doktor dito. I'll cover that for my next TikTok. And then, initially, they couldn't figure out what's wrong. Until I went to a specialist. Yung parang um, the one who deals with um, skin infections. Parang derma slash feminine doctor. Ganun. It turns out, meron yata akong reaction sa soap at saka sa too big. Um, so, I had to use yung Cetaphil for the whole body. Yaman, yeah, Cetaphil. Until for like six months and then now, nag-adjust na yung katawan ko. So, ngayon di na siya maarte kahit ano ginagamit ko na. Baka meron kayong mga Philippine brands na kinasanayan. Dalin nyo muna and then eventually mag-settle um, mag din yung katawan nyo. I also used parang antibacterial soap before. Hindi lang Cetaphil. Hindi ko na maalala kasi that was five years ago. I wanted to point out the deodorant. Alam nyo naman na walang whitening products dito. So, if you're gonna look for whitening lotion or whitening deodorant, none. Nala, nar. If you're using um, underarm products na may whitening, you can bring them over. Lalo ko noon, I've been using Bello because only Bello touches my skin. I tried using other um, brands dito. Yung mga walang aluminum. But I find it na hindi. Kasi pawisin ako eh. So, pinagpapawisan pa rin ako unless I use yung Rexona na talagang hindi ka talaga pagpapawisan. Pero, minsan nakakaitim. So, ngayon, gumagamit na ako ng New Skin. Um, kasi, talagang nakakaputi siya ng kilikin. Hmm. Pakita ko sa inyo next time. For now, on the tricky part, and that is clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes, it really depends kung anong time kayo darating sa Australia or kung anong season. Kung summer, spring, winter, or fall. Spring, summer, or fall. Pag summer, which is December, January, and February, any summer dresses that you have, yung damit natin sa Pilipinas, it's perfect. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to bring your hat because hat is important. The sun is sun so strong. Sun in Australia, Australia is so strong. Sunglasses and thongs. Okay, not your panty, but your slippers, your thongs. If you're coming here on spring and autumn, yung mga pang bagyo natin, pang tagaytay at pang Pasko, that's perfect. If you're gonna come here on spring, which is, ano nga ba, ang tagsibol? Ay, autumn, which is autumn na, March, April, May, that's autumn. June, July, August is your winter. September, October, November is your spring. So, if you're coming here on spring and autumn, Jumpers. This is a jumper, guys. Hindi yung iniisip nyo. This is jumper. If you call this the sweater, the people will get confused. What are your pants? Yung ating trousers or jeans. It will be good. And then if winter, at least one turtleneck or two turtleneck. Um, this will keep you warm. Please bring at least 
one fluffy jacket depende kasi ako i like using the fluffy jacket because it really keeps me warm if we want to be beautiful we use the thick coat yan <laughs> Live selling, Madam Inots. Kamukha ko daw yun. If you're heart evangelista, do not forget to bring your Hermes scarf because you can use this all year round. You bring like your scarf, of course, so we can be like beautiful, like heart. But um, yung mga panlameng, I highly suggest that you buy them here in Australia because the fabric is suited for the weather. And baka mas makamura pa kayo kasi minsan yung mga panlameng mahal sa atin unless mag-ukay-ukay tayo. However, sobrahan naman kayo magpack ng panlamig, e bibigat yung luggage nyo. And start in buying basic winter clothes in Kmart or Target or Big W. Sila yung mas mura. And then, later on, mag-progress na tayo sa mga mas medyo mahal na brands. In terms of shoes, depende rin kung anong season kayo darating. Of course, pag summer, trainers, runners, or sneakers will be good. That is rubber shoes. Don't Oh, little rubber shoes here. Maka-confuse sila. Iniisip nila. Ano yon Crocs. So, bring your rubber shoes. Sandals if it's summer. Flat shoes. Pang walking. Um, it's very important. Pag darating kayo ng spring, summer, I'm sorry, spring, autumn, or winter, boots would be highly recommended. Kahit isang boots lang, magagamit nyo yun from spring to autumn. Ako, ganun ako. Yung mga long boots, dito na, dito na lang kayo bumili. Um, why do I say that? Because again, I I haven't bought a pair of boots sa Pilipinas. So I'm not sure kung gaano kamahal sa Pilipinas yung boots. Pero dito, from affordable to expensive, you can buy. Some of you might want to invest on a good pair of boots that will last you many, many years. Or if you're like me, I just buy yung mura and then pag nasira, pinapalitan ko. Kasi talagang mabilis ako makasira ng sapatos. Yung Ugg, yung Ugg boots, you can buy it here. Dito nyo nalang bilhin yon Yung mga thermals, maganda bumili sa Uniqlo kasi thin lang siya. Tapos, ano, magagamit nyo. If you're wearing the right fabric, right clothes, it's good. Yun ang aking essentials to pack in Australia. Adapter, medicines, skincare, personal care products, clothes and shoes depending on when. And when or what season are you coming here? And pagpasensya nyo na meron akong kodi ko. And that's it. So sorry, daldal lang ako ng daldal. Because to be honest, hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin ko. Pero dahil nagre-request kayo, ayan na. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Ano pa bang ginagawa? May na-follow. <laughs> and follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And let's get confused together.